Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where all the things are. Uh, actually, just back in the door, literally back in the door. Just brought in a lot of the equipment here to the studio, Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh. Uh, from the great uh, event, uh, last minute streaming gig, actually, with uh, Re360 up there in Allentown, right down from uh, Work Hard Pittsburgh. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Actually, it was, uh, so again, these uh, short notice things popping up. I don't mind them so much. I don't mind them so much. I'm able to do the juggle and uh, get out there a little bit more. I appreciate that, and I appreciate uh, uh, my cohorts uh, are thinking of me in a pinch like this. Uh, so, but um, no, this is a, it was a, a good event where uh, the, uh, there's the, the pr- uh, investment professor uh, uh, as part of RE360 um, that you can check out, and I have the address, uh, if I have a r- proper uh, re- reinvestment, I'm sorry, reinvestorprofessor.com, you can shout out more information about what they're doing there and kind of the educational side. And if you go to their YouTube channel, the live video, I believe, should be up there um, as I'm recording this. And I don't know what they're going to be doing that with it necessarily. They might be re-editing it or, or something like that. But it was a pretty good opportunity uh, to do to do that kind of thing. Uh, that kind of fell into yesterday, which is kind of nice. Um, and I, I saw it as an opportunity to uh, take a, take part of the show on the road that we had been doing. Of course, we're using Wirecast here. We're doing what we're doing uh, in studio. And uh, we had actually already been using Wirecast on our wrestling shows, on International Wrestling Cartel, on uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, um, the last two IWC shows, Proving Grounds and... Um, Proving Ground 5 and Winner Takes All 2015, as well as Seasons Beatings 2015 uh, with the Renegade Wrestling Alliance were uh, both recorded in this method. Uh, We use Wirecast. We have a couple of um, intensity shuttles, a Thunderbolt and a USB 3.1 uh, that we have uh, just piping through my main editor, uh, MacBook Pro. And uh, it seems like the results were pretty good. Um, a little issues tonight because of lighting and figuring that out. But they're looking uh, looking to probably do more, some more of these. So I think they're going to be solving some of those problems as we go. Um, but no, I think we got a real, really good quality, uh, real, pretty good quality out of it. They had a good PA system. Um, and, and that is I, something I, I've noticed just from um, a lot of presentations I've filmed. And, and, and especially noticing this just since the beginning of the year, the presentations I've filmed. Audio is key if you have a good PA system to, to, uh, tie into, um, that's, you almost never get that for one thing. Um, it was actually a little box, uh, PA system. Uh, it looks similar to the one that we've used at, uh, IWC in the past and we got really good audio out of it. And other than some jumbling with the mic and everything and, and, and a little bit of mic technique and everything, but, uh, but no, I think it was really good. Um, Thankfully, I and I'm starting to, I know after all these years, I, I'm realizing how important it is to ask the right questions going into this. What's your format? And especially, this is two weeks in a row where I've had very, 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 very last minute, um, for the most part, about or less than 24 hours notice on a presentation like this to go film. And I don't know what I'm walking into. And a lot of times I don't know until I, I, I've, I've, I've walked in. I had 20 minutes to set up at the one I did last week. I had, and that's just the way the the, the format was, right? That's the like, hey, come do this. Uh, well, you fill it, fit in between these things and throw up a camera. I'm like, okay. Uh, and, and in that case, I was like, well, I gotta get a mic to the front of the room, right? I can't just throw a shotgun in the back. It's just, it just does not sound good. And with anything, you're thinking video, but you also have to think audio. Uh, if my audio quality was horrible on this stuff, it doesn't matter what I look like if you're watching the video version, right? Um, and 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 we try to do at least as good as a job as we can around here uh, for for that. We're not we're not full on audio engineers or anything like that. Uh, but we you know we 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 do we do work hard at um, the audio side of things. But um, and again, I think it worked out really good and I got to mix it a little bit. So I had him on the mic, one presenter, no jumbling. He had a nice long presentation. Um, I learned a little bit of how to do the um, the dual uh, um, the dual. Uh, um, presentation with the with the powerpoints uh from the guys at work hard uh i've seen them doing this uh with their work hard rig um doing the live streams and and when you can't tie into that computer that they're using you just bring another laptop tie that into your system and uh you just sync up and you hit next slide when the other person hits next slide and and pull that up as as a uh, camera and uh and it worked out really well again using wirecast i was able to use desktop presenter i actually grabbed one of the uh uh, network hubs out of the studio here 
um, and, and just connected there. Everything was on the same network. You can use Desktop Presenter and it just mimics everything on a desktop and sends that over to, um, to, to, to your Wirecast if you're on the same network. Worked like a dream tonight. And it's not like what we're doing here on Tuesday nights because I know it gets a little bogged down because we have, you know, multiple Google Hangouts. We have this desktop coming over here uh, showing off websites or videos or something. So it, it does get a little little janky, uh, you know, throughout the night when we're doing that. In this case, beautiful. We're just throwing individual slides, minimal, minimal, minimal fade-ins and animation, really. And uh, no, I thought it was really good. Um, the The... The best part, I did ask if there's like a QA. What's, is it just a presenter? What's the deal? Um, I grabbed the shotgun mic uh, from the old Panasonic, actually, and I tossed that up. Uh, I threw that up um, um, to the crowd, uh, you know, grabbed a, a old mic stand, a, a straight up mic stand, and uh, pointed, the, pointed it at the crowd. And, and when we got to the point where there was a QA, and a I got a nice soundboard. That I bring with me now on these things. Uh, nicer actually than what I have in the studio. I, I might get another one so things maybe sound a little better in the studio because I know we have a little bit of line noise that I always have to work out every 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 day, every week that we record down here. Um, but no, just riding the gain up whenever we wanted to ask questions of the crowd. I, I mean, that's not going to sound great, but that's the only thing that doesn't sound great, and it got captured. I mean, you. I think I think you're always riding a line of getting something versus getting something good and it's like well this is what we can do within our means we can hook into whatever you guys have for a pa cool and then we can point it at these guys over here and we're good to go and is this is like a, kind of a surprise thing that had like 70 to 100 people there and so they had to have a pa so thank you it's kind of hard to get the room noise when when there's something like that also uh wireless is almost dead to me can i say that uh <laughs> <laughs> I've had nothing but wireless problems with other people's mics, with other people's, with my own uh, uh, wireless level year, layers, just kind of using them um, a little bit further beyond probably what their use should be for, for the quality of mics that we have, of course. Um, so I'm very, 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 very stingy on when I use wireless when I'm doing a production. Um, and, and, I, yeah, and there was a really big fail on wireless mics early in the year here. Uh, for us and uh, and that's going to be a big big consideration so everything was wired so glad uh, the guy had a mic and a ba and needed to get out to uh the the hundredth person in the back of the room in this giant warehouse up there in allentown uh the na allentown the neighborhood not allentown pa apparently i need to qualify that every once in a while so i think it was really good again go check out re professor investor ba, ba, ba. i like that i like that um and uh oh kitty's in the studio hello kitty uh and uh and go check that out the video's up um should be up by now or whatever they do with it um and let me know what you think and, and say using using the good uh using our own system getting some leg work out of it uh and, and kind of uh getting some uh weighing the benefits and drawbacks of using this system Versus what the guys have over up Work Hard Pittsburgh that we've been working on. If you look at my Instagram, Sorgatron on there, you see the giant um, rack and giant screen uh, going on uh, with the switcher and a laptop kind of out in the drawer in front of it. That's that's that setup, and it's a nice big hardware setup, um, and it's really reliable. It's really good, and it's capable to go far beyond what we've been doing with it, to be quite honest. Um, but I decided for this one, uh, you know what? I, instead of going renting that or not renting it, signing it out on, on such short notice up there at Work Hard Pittsburgh, you know, let's 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 just grab and go the stuff that we have in house. See see how this goes. We're good to go. And um, I think we, I think it was a very successful night. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you check out the video, I know again it was a little dark uh, because we moved away. The fellow moved away from the light that we had set up for him. Uh, so, so uh, dealing with that was a little rough. Uh, but again, uh, looking to hopefully do more productions with them in the future and, uh, and or see what they have uh, in general. It looks like they're doing a big play for information online. So if you're into real estate uh, and want to learn some stuff, I think it's a good place to start. So I mentioned it for charity tonight. I, I don't know the entire breadth of the situation. Go to our website and get the information um but uh they're, they're accepting donations it's for the family um they, i know they, they lost their child um and uh and they didn't really get too into it too much in the presentation like i said just kind of 
dropped into the situation. So uh, thanks. Check everything out. Sogertron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. You will talk about this in the newsletter this week and everything else going on. Big classes coming up. Uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh Boot Camp is going to be happening in the Beachview Carnegie Library uh, up here on the track. So you can take the tea um, for now and uh, come on down. And It's free. It's an intro to social media uh, coming on uh, Wednesday. I think that's March 16th off the top of my head. And we're doing another one at the end of April for intro to podcasting. Uh, we may notice that actually it's it's going to be actually the, a lot of the presentation that is actually free if you sign up for the newsletter over at sorgatron.com all right we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com